Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Carlos and we like to play with paint. So today we're going to be working on a technique that I just wa I watched a video on uh, Tammy Anderson's channel and she was calling it the, the fling and flick technique. Um, she is, I guess, giving a shout out to a certain artist. I can't remember the name of it, but I will try to remember to link that or at least give you a description of who she was talking about or link you you know what I'll do something better I'll put the link of Tammy's um, video in the description or at least <laughs> I'll try to remember to and if I forget I know you guys will remind me so um, I don't quite have the co the exact colors that she has I have a couple of them so I'm going to attempt to do to recreate the piece that she made but with my little twist um, and when I say twist, I mean, yeah, we have no idea what we're going to get. So, yeah. So the paints that I'm using right now are the, these are all are the Artist Love paints. The neon yellow, the neon green, the neon pink, the neon orange. And then she also used a metallic purple. Um, and that's what that is. And then obviously the black base on a black canvas. This is a 16 by 18, I think. 16 by well whatever we'll measure it later 16 by 18 inch canvas and yeah we are about to jump into it so ladies and gentlemen kick back relax and chill and uh, yeah let's play with some paint all right so first things first is i'm going to do a quick base layer of black on the canvas and uh, yeah i'm just going to speed through this entire part just to you know speed up the video all right ladies and gentlemen she had mentioned that she wanted to try it so the next time she did it she wanted to try it with silicone i'm gonna jump the gun i'm gonna go ahead and try it with silicone myself um just to see what effects it might it might have so i'm just gonna i'm using these tiny little itty bitty shot glasses so i believe it's like one ounce so i'm just gonna try to attempt to just put one drop per color <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> so in her video, she was talking about how this certain artist um, would create these swipes and these uh, these effects with the paint. Um, I don't have a piece of plastic like she does, so I'm just going to use this little, little spatula thingy um, to try to recreate as best as I can what Tammy did in her video. So as you can see, this one's got a little bit of flick. Um, in Tammy's video, she had one shot where it kind of went... Shoo, it went all over the place. Well, not really all over the place, but it, it, it flew. It went off the canvas. I am going to attempt to... <laughs> I'm going to attempt to not, you know, make it flick. I already have enough paint on my walls. Paint that's not supposed to be there. But anyways. So, what she started out doing was she, she did some puddles. And, well, yeah. We'll just, we'll just jump into it and we'll see what happens. So, she started with the metallic purple. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to recreate what she did, or at least attempt to, um, simply because I've never done this before, I've never even seen it before, and I thought it I thought it came out looking pretty cool. So, Tammy, if you're watching, awesome job, lady, awesome job. Alright, so, um, she, she used a square canvas, I have a rectangular canvas, so I'm not sure how this is going to work. I'm going to try to start not dead center, but not on not all the way to one edge either so we're going to definitely have a bunch of negative space i'm going to mix this up a little bit more and then just kind of make our puddles oh well, that's some thick paint all right so then actually i don't remember exactly what color she went in what order I just know that she started with the purple, so at this point it is it is what it is. <laughs> We're gonna see what happens. I know she sporadically poured puddles here and there. I'm starting to think my paint is way too thick. So 
So yeah, we're about to see what happens, ladies and gentlemen. Worst case scenario, you know how we do. We'll just throw it all on the board and uh, just go for the gold. You know what, I'm going to add a lot more paint because this is a slightly bigger canvas and I just want to make sure I can at least reach certain edges or certain areas. A little bit more of this purple here and there. Just for fun, just for fun, you know ladies, you know how we do. But I'm going to stop right there because that seems like a lot of paint. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shake this up a little bit. Oh, maybe not. L -O -L. I don't want to drop everything. But we are going to torch it. There we go. Found the torch. So, the first thing she did is she took a, a piece of plastic and she did like these little slicing type things. So I am going to see if I can find me a piece of plastic or a piece of something. Oh, perfect. And it just so happens to be plastic. We got a plastic knife. All right, so. I'm going to use the back end since it's a little bit thicker. Um, and yeah, so the first thing she did was she started somewhat in the middle and then just kind of did a couple of these funky little swipes. So we're about to do that. Ladies and gentlemen, let's rock and roll. Uh oh, I don't know how to rock and roll. Okay, screw it, let's go. Now that's funky. It's working, I think. I think. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to use the other side since it's got these little, these little teeth. Maybe that'll have somewhat of an effect. So instead of just going straight on, I'm going to kind of, how do you say, like swipe it? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to go straight up the middle. So straight up the middle, but in an outward fashion. Alright, so at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and try that flick thing. And uh, yeah. So what she basically did is she, she applied pressure to that piece of plastic that she was using. And then just let it go. So, we're about to do that. Hopefully I don't make too much of a mess, but uh, I probably will. So, it is what it is. So, let's see. We are going to go just right here and just kind of shoot maybe in this angle right there. Oh crap, now I'm nervous. Now I'm nervous. Oh shit. Sorry ladies and gentlemen. The paint flew all the way to my computer. And on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, less pressure. Less pressure. Less pressure. Sorry for swearing. I'll try to edit that out. All right, light pressure, barely moved it, but, well, whatever, let's see what happens, let's see what happens. So it's, it's more or less just kind of like picking it up and just kind of like bleh, dropping it over. So maybe we do it a little bit harder and hopefully not get the monitor. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> oh, funny, funny stuff, funny stuff. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just go towards the rest of the stuff and uh, see if I can't. Man. Okay, I'm not going to use this thing no more. Ladies and gentlemen, this thing is kind of crazy. Got a little piece of cardboard. Little itty bitty piece of cardboard right here. I don't know why I didn't try doing this, using this before. Oh my goodness. Got a lot of stuff to clean now. Oh, that didn't move anything. Oh. <laughs> okay, so no matter what I do, things paint is just flying everywhere. Um so yeah. I mean at this point, screw it, right? Let's rock and roll. Oh, that didn't even land on the painting. It landed way... I don't know if you guys can see that. It landed way over there. Alright. Let's see. Let's see. Go back to this little... This little doohickey. And... Gently. Just gently. Just gently. Okay, so it's doing these little... Itty... <laughs> there goes the curtain. All right, um, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and torch it and call it done because I have more paints. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. That's what happens when I try to do something that I know I'm not qualified to do. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tilt some of this down seeing that I went almost all the way down to the canvas on some of these areas. So I'm gonna see if I can't just kind of cover those areas back up. Yeah, Tammy didn't quite flick as much paint as I did. This is, this is, it's funny, whatever. It is what it is. Yeah. So obviously my paint was extremely thick, but hey, <laughs> that's what happens when I see something on the internet and I want to try it out. All of a sudden I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> that's not funny. No, it is kind of funny because it happened. So we're going to call this some funky little alien flower, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if I can get all stupid light. Oh, I'll bring you guys in for a close-up so you guys can check this out. I'm going to torch it one more time. See if we can't uh, get some, some, some more, some more, some cells going on. Now, you know what? I'm not done. Ladies and gentlemen, I will try to fast forward so it doesn't become a super long video. But I'm liking how thin some of these little trails, I guess you want to call them, are trailing off. So I'm going to see if I can just replicate a little bit of it. Kind of, it's it's almost like the forking technique, but I'm going to use a plastic, plastic knife. Huh, maybe, I don't know. That didn't work. And yes, I know, I'm not gonna get carried away. Just gonna do a few hundred thousand. <laughs> See? Already done. Except for right there. Maybe some towards the bar. Yes. Maybe. Not quite. Okay. I'm done. Now I am. Bye. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to bring you in for a close-up. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> simply because I'm, I'm done, but I also got to clean this stuff up before it dries. So, um, yeah. Let's, let's, let's do this. Alright, so hold on. I'll be right back. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I was about to bring you in for the close-up, but I decided, you know what, I'm just going to blow on it a little bit, see what happens. And I did on the bottom, as you can see, like a couple times here and there. I want to do some more of that. Not a lot, not too crazy, but I want to I wanna try to expand on at least this, wait, where's my finger? At least this center area. So, um, Cross your fingers. You know what? We're going to do a little quick close-up of this just in case I do ruin it. But we got a bunch of funky, these funky little tentacles shooting out. And the camera is not liking this light. So it's changing the color. So we're going to have to do this from an angle. Try to do this from an angle. You know what? I'll stay back here and I'll zoom in. All right. There we go. So... If, if you could see, we got some cell structure inside some of these tentacles. Um, obviously, I added a few of these uh, little lines using... Oh, look. That one's like a twirly. That one's twirling. Ah, oh, that's crazy. That one is kind of twirling. If you guys can see that. Stupid camera. But, yeah. We got some more tentacles going up there. All the way up to there. Um... Some obvious little splatter areas way up in the corner. Then coming all the way down back to where we started. Some little tentacles down here. A couple little spots that dropped because of the flicking. Um, the couple little areas where I blew around, which I'm digging. I'm going to go ahead and do it, so don't be too mad. <laughs> but yeah, and then here's the center part. Ooh la la, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so I'm going to play with it for a little bit, and I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I think I might have gone overboard, but it is what it is. Luckily, I was able to give you guys a little close-up of what it looked like before. So, yeah. I was just goofing around, and I just kept on going, and yeah. I mean, it still looks kind of funky. Because it's got a bunch of like this, uh, how do you say, like faded into the black, almost uh, ghost-like. I don't know why I keep using that terminology, but I, I'm hoping you understand what I mean. Where it's not as vivid as that, you know what I mean? It just kind of it blends into the paints. And seeing that my paint was a little bit on the thick side, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. And then, yeah. So I just kind of decided, you know what, I'm just going to go for the gold, see if I can't come up with something cool. Some of these areas I kind of go, cool. like, I definitely like this little, you know, veiny, pink veiny little leaf type thingy. But then other areas like, well, like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I will just give you a quick tour. Didn't really blow out too much of the stuff, just a couple of spots up there. Left a little swirly, twisty little thingy alone, because I thought that looked kind of cool. And then I just blew that one up, which in a way it kind of looks kind of cool, because it's by itself, it's green and it stands out. And then yeah, then we come into this, uh, this funky horror show, LOL. And FYI, I got paint all over me. Yeah, so don't believe me? Check this out. See? Yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And yeah, if you like the video, then <laughs> then please consider giving me a like and uh, let me know what you guys think. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, one last attempt to save this. I'm going to try just to do a normal um, swipe. Got some parchment paper right here. I'm just going to go with whatever paint's on there and just cross my fingers. Yeah. So, you know what? No, I'm lying. I'm going to put a little bit of black there just so I can have something to cover. Um, if this works out, then you'll get to see it. If not, then you'll never know.
piece of paper I had wasn't big enough. All right, so here we go. Ta-da! <laughs> I did not work like I wanted it to. So guess what? We're going to turn this into a quick Dutch pour. All right, this is rock and roll. I have these paints already mixed up. We're going to go ahead and use them. Don't hate me, ladies. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. Are you even recording? Yes, you are. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is what it is. I'm about to make a big mess. So hopefully, this time comes out cool and you guys like it. It is, ladies and gentlemen, the ugliest, quickest, fastest, most funkiest Dutch pour ever. All right. Hey, at least we got some cells. We got some cells. We got some lacing. We got some funky little flameage. Yeah. See, this is what happens when I'm up late, past my bedtime, and I'm playing with paint. <laughs> you know what? Just for shits and giggles, you guys might just see this. Oh, crap. I just swore again. All right. Fuck it. Whatever. Bye.